everyone, what's up? My name is Jake. Welcome aboard the beautiful Disney Fantasy. That's right, I'm on the Disney Fantasy again. Uh, it was two years ago, I think it was 2014, the last time that we did a ship tour. Um, I, I don't know, I've editing's gotten better, so I thought we should do like an extensive, wonderful, beautiful, amazing tour of this amazing ship. We're on Castaway K right now, uh, and I don't know, I thought we should do a little tour around the ship, so join me as we walk through the amazing, beautiful Disney fantasy. Before we walk around the ship, I do want to give a quick tour of my room because the room is absolutely incredible. But before that, I do want to say, I just want to like say up front, I, I don't really want to be biased throughout this entire thing. Whenever I say the ship is beautiful or amazing or uh, absolutely incredible, I, I'm not saying that just because I like Disney, because there's a ton of things I hate Disney for. I don't even want to think of this as a Disney ship. I just want to think of this as a cruise line in itself. And in itself, it is really incredible. And I'll give you a tour through it. I'll show you the differences and we'll do that. But first, the tour. So if you remember last year, we had a slightly extended room. Well, <laughs> we thought we should uh, step it up this year. So it's a category 5D or something, I don't know. But we got extremely lucky. We got a room like this the first time I was ever on this ship, which was 2012. Uh, and we are so lucky to get this room. And I'll show you why we're so lucky to get this room. The luckiness comes... Oh, we got a chair right there. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the luckiness comes with, um, oh, it's locked. That's embarrassing. What's locked here? Mm. God damn it. Hey! So can we, get, can we get a little flashback from last, last, two years ago, two years ago. Can we get a little flashback to that? Oh, it's so big. I, you can't see, like, it's from this. Yeah, th this is what the balcony looked like then. We thought we should step it up a little. I I agreed. It's a little big. You know, when a room comes with its own deck chairs, you know it's fairly large. I, I do like this room because the one below us is uh, deck eight. And that was slightly larger than this one. But the reason why I like this one so much is because this one, unlike the floor below us, extends out to the side. So we get this view too, which is always very nice. We're on Castaway K right now, which is normally when I film these videos, uh, because there's no one on board the ship, because everyone wants to go to Castaway K, but I've been enough, so whatever. We'll stay aboard the ship and we'll do our tour right now. Oh, you'll notice this one too. It doesn't have a handle on it, but this one oddly does. It's very weird. So we're on deck five right now, and we're approaching the lobby. So here is the Vana Vista Theater. I do believe um, Zootopia is playing right now. Let's go look. Maybe it's done. I don't know what time it is. I feel like that's a bad idea, actually. <laughs> but yeah. Buena Vista Theater. This is actually, believe it or not, this is real marble. Like, that's kind of amazing. Also, I love these lights. They're absolutely amazing. The camera doesn't like them, but I like them. They're very nice. Uh, I don't know. It's like, it's kind of just like this weird section. This is the top floor of the Buena Vista Theater. But it's, I don't know, it's, it's just really, really lovely. It's... For those of you who have seen the earlier vlogs, or tours, or whatever you want to call them, you'll remember my trouble with the Walt Disney Theater. <laughs> I've actually never been in here this group. I don't usually go to the shows. Wow. Wow. That's uh, pretty extravagant. God dang, this is really cool. Well, that's something we didn't get to do last time. This peacock right there, see how it's a pe peacock? It's the same way throughout the entire ship, that peacock theme. So the entire ship takes on that theme. Also the shops are absolutely spectacular. We have to go to a wide angle lens though. Lovely chandeliers, they're actually quite incredible. It's the first thing you see when you walk on the boat too. 
It's very, very nice. I really like it. Here's Royal Court, which is one of the three dining restaurants you can go to. Uh, I mean, it's it's really nothing special, but the theming really is quite lovely, actually. I will be honest. One of the best things Disney does is they allow you to take on, I think, at least two bottles of liquor at a time, where other cruise lines strictly prohibit that. Best fire door ever. <laughs> Just really like that fire door. It's freaking awesome. Going up to Europa right now, which is the Alton Leaf. I think this is the largest piece of artwork on the entire ship. It's hard to even fit this in frame. It's really big. Here's Oak Hill Pub. Just kind of like a sports pub kind of thing. It is actually very cool. I've been in there about three or four times now. It's pretty nice. At night, this is like a tiny little but <laughs> At night, this is like a tiny little cafe. They'll serve like uh, chicken wings and stuff at like 12.30 at night, which is kind of great. This is by far my favorite bar, I think ever. I freaking love this bar. I don't know why. It's it's a freaking carousel, man. How, how can you not love this? Ready? Wait. Isn't that awesome? It's <laughs> freaking so cool, dude. That's amazing. Freaking love that. Such a minor detail. Freaking love that. Oh, yeah. What you'll notice is this entire wall, and by wall I mean all of this, is LED lights. And it's just like, it's so cool. I love that. I don't know why. I just love it. It's really cool. That's cool, right? I'm not the only one, right? Okay, time to go. Get out of the freaking D lounge, man. Ah, oh, dude. What's behind the scenes? DJ! Okay, it's enough of me. I'm gonna get kicked out of this damn boat. Oh, now you've given me a freaking nice sign. Okay, let's go to the top. I apologize for the movie that's going on, but welcome to the top deck. And this is the adults area. An amazing pool, by the way. It is a really nice pool. It's always warm, which is kind of great. Currents. I do believe this is the smoking area. I would assume so. That's the view from here. All oh, right, and look at this freaking view. Absolutely incredible. Honestly, it really is. It's so beautiful. All the adult area chairs have uh, are like padded, so they're like premium. So here's Satellite Falls in action. It's just like a waiting pool. Put your feet in, or sit behind the waterfall in shade. Welcome to the very front of the Disney Fantasy. Not sure what that boat's out there for, but down there is the teens area. That's exclusively for teens only, so which is pretty sweet. Also, this is the Walt Disney Suite right here, which is also very, very lovely. God, this is. I don't know, man. I genuinely do suggest at least trying Disney. Did I mention this cruise line has a water coaster? That might be a small detail that I left out. It's kind of incredible, to be honest. Also, here's the Aqualab, the, uh, like, I don't know, the water park area. I don't know what the hell you call it, but it's something. Well, it's very hot. I'm very tired. I'm very also hot. Uh, I think we should eat lunch and then ride the aqueduct. Oh god. Whoa! Voiceover. Yeah, the audio isn't really good here, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover. Um, two things about this. First of all, the aqueduct is absolutely incredible. I love it. It's the best uh, water coaster or slide I've ever been on in my entire life. Second thing, if it looks like I'm concealing my GoPro to the side, it's because I am. Uh, the people, the staff on the on the aqueduct were actually really extremely rude about this, and I've seen plenty of videos with people that have handheld GoPros just moving around, and for whatever reason they thought, I don't know, maybe it's because my age, they didn't want me taking it on, so I kind of had to sneak it on just for the footage. Um, but yeah, I don't know, the staff was really rude actually, and that was like the only part I didn't like about this cruise. Uh, yeah, so back to the video. Fun fact, 
this these uh, uh, these flags actually spell out Disney fantasy. That's my that's my facts for the day. I just realized I never said goodbye. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the aqueduct. Um, yeah, my name is Jake, and thank you very much for watching the Disney fantasy vlog. I'm literally leaving right now. This is this is it. I'm leaving right now. It's very sad. This balcony is huge. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jake. Think about it.